Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On today's vlog, we're headed up to Munising, which is in the upper Michigan Peninsula. We're going to take a glass bottom boat tour to check out the shipwrecks of the Great Lakes. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button and come along on this adventure. Munising. We actually just arrived here about 45 minutes ago. Um, we stopped for lunch. We are at a cute little restaurant called the Dog Patch Inn. It's really cute because it has all these like cartoon-like, has all this like cartoon-like artwork all over the place. So very cute place. I had um, the whitefish sandwich and Matt had the whitefish bath. It. Whitefish is kind of a big thing up here in the Lake Superior area. I really like it. It's kind of a milder fish compared to like perch or walleye. So if you don't really, really like the fishy taste, whitefish might be kind of more up your alley. I had the sandwich, Matt had the basket, came with fries. Very, 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 very good. So now we are just going to um, kind of take a look around the area. We have about half an hour before we need to check in for the glass bottom boat tour. So I'll show you around. So we actually kind of had a hard time finding a place to eat for lunch. Um, it's kind of off season, but I think also COVID is um, a factor as well. A lot of restaurants maybe aren't able to staff the wait staff. So um, I think the dog patch restaurant was really the only place in town. Got really busy. We arrived at a perfect time where it wasn't that busy, but as we were leaving, it was pretty, pretty busy. So. Um, and we're kind of looking around and a lot of restaurants are closed, so kind of unfortunate. And it looks like they're doing major construction on the main um, roadway here. Kind of sucks because last time we were in um, Marquette, which I'll post a link in the description down below of that vlog, they were also doing construction on the main road, so it must be a thing in Upper Michigan at this time of year. Grand Island Harbor Scenic Overlook. Um, just kind of killing some time before our reservation. We are overlooking Lake Superior and then Grand Island is also off in the distance. So I'll show you that. So this is Lake Superior, Grand Island. Where's Grand Island? Is that Grand Island? Right there. Right there. So you can take ferries to Grand Island, I believe. So and there's a little boat Ooh, down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. It's a ferry probably going to Grand Island. But this is the lake. We're going to go out on a glass bottom boat tour out on this lake to see all the shipwrecks. I hope we see really cool shipwrecks. The water is so blue. Not quite peak for fall colors up here because Lake Superior has like a bubble effect. So even though Lake Superior is the coldest of Great Lakes, it causes this like warming effect around the area. So down where our cabin is, we're kind of at peak, but then here, which is nor nor more north of our cabin, they're not at peak, which is kind of weird. You'd think they would be at peak because it's maybe a little colder, but just Lake Superior causes this little bubble effect. So very beautiful. Also one other thing, Munising, um, this area is known for the pictured rocks. It's these really beautiful cliffs that are all along the lakeshore, all along Grand Isle. They're called pictured rocks. People come from all over the place to look at it. Hopefully on the glass bottom boat tour we'll be able to grab some photos and some video of the pictured rocks so you can see what they look like, but they're really beautiful. Yeah. 
So we are here at the Glass Bottom Boat Tour. We already have reservations, which is a good thing because it looks kind of crowded. So we're gonna go check in and then they start boarding the boat in about 15 minutes. So there's our boat right there, the big wide one. So not that one, that one. We're all checked in. This is the little boat that that's out of the water. So this is where it goes. There's Grand Island, which we showed you on the scenic overlook, but the yellow route is where it all goes around to look at the shipwrecks. And here is just how clear the water is. Hopefully we'll be able to show you in person just how clear it is. The water is super clear. It's such good weather. So then right down here, if you guys can see it, it says Riptide Rides. We did that maybe about five years ago. There's speed boats that go around the Grand Isle and they take you right up to the pictured rocks and around the waterfalls. It's actually, it was a really, really cool experience. So fun fact, I just read in this little brochure that this boat is brand new, 2020, brand new, but it's the largest glass bottom boat in the world. So fun fact. <laughs>
bigger coming up, so hopefully I can get some video, but just to give you guys an idea what I mean by pictured rocks, there are these beautiful clips that have like different hues of color in them. And they're all around the Grand Isle and all along the Lake Superior shoreline. Portside, you'll own some cabins along here, part of that 40 acres of the island that the Forest Service does not own. No running water, power on this side, the only access pretty much from the water. You'll see a seawall that was constructed about 15 years ago. To keep the point from eroding, we were slowly losing all the land that the lighthouse sat on over the years. <clears throat> The current has changed to come in around behind here. You can see where the deep water is, where you see that lighter color. That's just the sand reflecting back through the clearer water. The dark blue is deeper water. Over the years, done a lot to keep it restored. At one point, removing the cupola brought it up to Northern Michigan University, where the Industrial Arts Program redid it back to its original look. It's entirely made of copper. Replaced the plate glass and redid the rail. It was getting banged up. And it just gets that patina from sitting outside. This is originally what it would have looked like, except it would have been painted white. Obviously, a few more windows in the front, some steps, and a lot more dry land in front of it. Originally built in 1867, it ran until about 1913, until better forms of navigation were put in place. It's the range lights back in town, now turned into a sector light, and also the buoy system. You'll notice up in the top an oil lamp that is what would have originally lit it. The oil lamp would have been inside of what's known as a fourth order Fresnel lens, which is a giant glass prism. There's one of those on display at the shipwreck museum. Back then was a cow, and that would have been for milk for his children, as they would have lived a very subsistence lifestyle here on the island. There used to be some other outbuildings and some cleared land. George would have hunted fish trapped, and they grew a vegetable garden <coughs> and had a few farm animals. Back in the early 60s, 
60s, it had been salvaged when it was legal to do so, and it sat as a lawn ornament up in the Nagani area. area. When the professor who got it retired, he called Captain Pete from Shipwreck Tours, and together they put it back pretty much where he found it in the first place. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Eight feet tall, five feet wide. It looks like you could pick it up and do one of those greatest catch photos. Because the neat thing about water, you guys, is everything looks closer and smaller than it really is. Eight feet down to 30 feet, folks. Just like that. Watch that last step. It's a doozy. <laughs> One third of the ship hung over the edge. The stern ended up breaking off after getting battered by two storms over four days. Um, you can tell it was a men's bathroom because there's no line waiting. Oh, and you know what? Hey, you guys, you want to know the captain's name of the handler? Captain John Johnson. This is so hey guys, we just got done with the glass bottom boat tour. It was so much fun. It was so interesting. I took a lot of video and I really, really hope it comes out. I really hope you guys out there in the YouTube world can see um, the shipwreck at the bottom. I'll try to kind of point stuff out as I recognize it um, via text or via um, just writing on the vlog. Um, it was just, it was absolutely amazing. Some of the highlights is the second shipwreck. That was a shipwreck that was kind of in pieces because they had to dynamite it apart. You could see remnants of the captain's clawfoot tub as well as the captain's toilet, which was really cool. And then also on that second shipwreck, you could see the huge like blue anchor. The first shipwreck was really, really cool and it was unique in that it was completely intact, which shipwrecks are not normally intact like that. Usually when they go down, they go down in pieces, but that first one that I took video of was completely intact. So very, very cool. Highly suggest it if you are in the Munising, Upper Michigan area. So right now we are headed on home. Matt is headed into Muldoon's Pasties. They were voted the number one pasty shop in the UP. It's kind of our tradition to get pasties on the way home after doing an Upper Michigan day adventure, day trip adventure. But I'm gonna end the vlog right here because of the rest of the trip is just driving. You guys don't wanna see that. So thank you for joining us. I hope you had a lot of fun checking out the Glass Bottom Boat Tour. Don't forget to join our adventure family by hitting that subscribe button down below. And remember, it's a beautiful world out there, so go out there and find your adventure. See you real soon. Bye!